Their mission is ambitious to help grow the black winemaking community by 50% within the next 10 years. Here to tell us more about their plans, along with a sample of tasty wines, thank you very much, is Marcy Jones from Urban Connoisseurs. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you, Saint. So tell me, how did Urban Connoisseurs ever get started? Because this, this sounds great. Well, I got started after visiting a few of the black winemakers actually in California. And I think my experience was so great that I walked away with the attitude, I want to do something, not just sure what it is, but the more I met them, others, the yeah. more I knew, you know what, I want to bring an awareness of them. They are in the industry, or we, I'm not going to say them, we are in this industry and need to be made known. Yeah, I feel like wine always tastes better when you know the story behind the bottle, mm -hmm. you know, the backstory of every bottle. And we have got at least four really good stories here. We do. And I think we should start. I mean, okay. this is, I don't know how long this segment is, but we've got to try some wine, don't you? Till they tell us we gotta go. <laughs> All right, let's start with the first one here. All what is right, this? so this is a Pinot Noir from Lapjay Wines, and Dan Glover is the winemaker. Okay, not the actor, right? Not it's the actor, actor, not the actor. Different Dan Glover. I know, but I think at some point he was in the arts industry, but found his new muse, All what right. can I say? Well, let's so see. this is his Pinot Noir. We are drinking his 2014 Pinot Noir from Russia River Valley, the Ullman Vineyard. Okay. All right. I'm following you because. Oh, you're following me. <laughs> because I, uh, I'm going to admit something. I've had it before. No. All right. But I, I have to admit I'm not like I don't know a ton of not wine. So. Okay. All righty. So. You're going to sniff. Well, you can sniff this. <laughs> All right. I think I'm just going to go, just for, go for it. Just go for it. Go for it. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. Now, have you had a piano before? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. All right. Sometime in my life. Well, most pinots you're going to see is, as you can see, is lighter in color. Okay. Then uh, that's probably one of the lighter bodied wines. And Dan has been in the industry. What I like about Dan, and he is one of my featured winemakers that's going to be in the documentary. In fact, all of these oh, are featured in the documentary. documentary. Yeah. Yes. So talk about the documentary. Or? Let's do that because. Um, I know, as, as I said, uh, when you know the backstory behind the bottle, it's a lot more interesting. Okay. Uh, so, so you've got okay. a documentary that you're doing. I have a documentary. It's entitled Journey Between the Vines, The Black Winemaker Story. And I wanted to do this documentary, like I said, uh, because diversity is in the industry, but it's not yet widely known. Right. And I felt like doing a documentary telling that, personalizing the story of the winemakers, will help bring that more where people will say, wow, uh, there is diversity in here. It's a small numbers right now, but that's okay. We are growing. And so the documentary follows the lives of five winemakers. And we also bit, talk about a little bit about the history of African Americans in the wine industry. That sounds great. And speaking yeah. of wine, yeah. let's move on to let's bottle number two. <laughs> All right, I like that. It's like a TV show. <laughs> Bottle number two. This is a 2018 Zinfandel from Botkin Wine. And Chris Christensen is the winemaker. He's also in California. Yeah. Chris has this affinity for medieval. Yeah. And so if you look at the bottle. Right. You know, it's that's a, just his, he's, that's his It's almost infinity. a St. George cross right there. Yes. Uh, yeah, I know he likes Henry V, right? Yes. Everything's sort of related to his Henry V, it seems. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's try this one. Sweeter. What do you think? Yeah. Do you think it's sweeter? I do. Okay. Oh, well, look, I don't have a sophisticated <laughs> taste. So, what do okay. you, you tell me what makes this wine special? Well, I guess it, not necessarily what makes it special, but if you are a Zinfandel lover or mm. an appreciation of Zinfandel, you will appreciate that this is a medium bodied, not too strong. Uh, the flavor is just great for what he's put together here. Okay. We are going to move on to bottle number three. I know. And I'm looking forward to this one because this is a Washington State yes. owned winery, right? 
So fray, shave for shit. Shave for, sh for, for shit. shit. Okay. I know. Don't say that too fast because you might get that messed up. But she's a South Carolina girl, yeah. as you are from South Carolina. I am. And uh, yeah. she actually moved from South Carolina to Southern Cal. And her and her husband, literally, when they made the decision that they wanted to raise a family, uh, flipped a coin and mm -hmm. said, should we go where your family resides in Washington State or where I'm from, South Carolina? So needless to say, her husband, Greg, won the coin toss. Sure. And they moved to Red Mountain area and have been there, I think, since 2013. Right. A small uh, batch of wines. This is Shay's own brand that she decided uh, she wanted to do something. So Sashay is Shay. I get it. Okay. So <laughs> it's got her name in it. And it will make you sachet, I would think, after. I think a if couple. you had too much, you might just kind of. Yeah, we were already starting go across the stage. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we have one, one more, more to try. Yes. Now, this is my baby. Oh. Yes. Several of the winemakers came together to create this blend to help me raise money for the documentary. Right. So it is uh, fittingly entitled Journey, Journey Between, Between the, the Vines, the Black Winemaker Story. This wine, actually, you can see the winemaker signed on here. It's 50% Grenache, 20% Syrah, 15% Mouvedre, and 15% Petite Syrah. Okay. Now, the two remaining winemakers, wines that are featured in the documentary, are in this bottle. Mm. Phil Long, who owns Longevity Wines in Livermore, California, the first three varietals are his. And then the last one, the Petite Syrah, is Theodore Lee who owns Theopolis Vineyards in Yorkville Highland. So I covered all five of the featured winemakers today so that you could experience a little bit of what all of them do. Well, thank you very much. And and I, I and there's a scholarship that you're, you're doing as well. I am, I am. I'm working on the scholarship. I feel like it is very important that we help prepare that next generation. And more information is on my website, Urban Connoisseurs. Okay. Well, Marcy, thank you very much. I think uh, I think the plan here is just to take all of these wines and leave them with the director, and we're just <laughs> going to see how fun this show gets.